Hey guys, in this video, or in my last video, we looked at this, uh, we looked at a number of stuff, but especially we looked at this date don't get time, where it displays the time in milliseconds of uh, the number of milliseconds that has passed since January midnight of January the 1st, 1970. And using this, we can actually, we can't really do too much f uh, currently with our knowledge, but uh, one interesting thing we can use do is actually like calculate the number of minutes, the number of seconds, the number of hours, the number of days, the number of years that has passed since January the 1st, 1970 using this. So let's try to do, let's do that. So uh, we've got, uh, let's see, we've got var day equals new day, we've got var x equals get time, and so x is, uh, x is currently this. Now uh, we could say that var, mm, um, um, uh, we could say var minutes equals uh, 1000 times 60. Now the reason why it's 1000 is because this is in milliseconds so it's not 10 times, uh, it's not 1 times 60 but we have to times 1 times 1000 and then times it by 60. And then we could create a variable called the hours and we could say it equals minutes uh, times 60 like so. And we could call uh, for days and we could say it's hours times 24. Okay. And we could say var uh, years equals it's days times 365. Oops, I forgot the semicolon. And then what we could do is say var, because we used x over there, I'm just going to use y equals. We're going to use a uh, mass. Uh, method called mass dot round. Now we ha I haven't really touched mass objects yet, but basically, what this mass dot round does is we have a number inside here, like two point five, and basically it rounds that number to the nearest integer. So in this case, it rounds it to three. So we've got uh, we could say x divided by years, and let's see what happens. And uh, we could say a uh, document dot write y and save our work and refresh and there we go we have 43 now uh, 1970 so it's 1970 and it's 2013 so yep if I do mental calculations quickly in my head it's 43 and if I divide this by days we get 15,778 days has passed since uh, January the 1st, 1970, and we could use hours or so. 378,673 hours has passed since January the 1st, 1980. God, imagine doing this much, uh, I don't know, programming, you'll be like, genius. Apparently, According to some researchers, research you have to do uh, ten thousand hours of practice in a specific thing in order to be a professional at it. Not professional, but as in, in order to be at the highest standard. Say, for example, a violin or I don't know web programming or something like that. Interesting, right? So it's about forty-three years to get that. So it's about uh, ten years. Yeah, you have to do about ten years, fifteen years of a lot of work. And you can actually change this to minutes. What that does is, yeah, and the number goes on and on. So uh, that wasn't too interesting, but I hope uh, you got the basic understanding of how you could change like the current times uh, using these kinds of like minutes equals 1000 times 60. And then you can say like, hours equals minutes times 60 and so on in order to display a specific uh, value like how many years has passed or how many uh, days has passed.